Hi, my name is Karina Munoz and we are here at Bio Europe Spring in Vienna. I, today I am joined by uh, David Gil-Johan and he is the CEO of Xsecure. Thank you for joining us today. Happy to be here, yeah. thanks. So if you can just start off by telling us a little bit more about your company and what you do there. Sure. Xsecure is using digital drug design to use DNA and RNA sequences to create medicines that go after the underlying causes of genetic disease. So your A's, G's, T's, and C's uh, that make up the body and the human genome. Uh, we're finding the sequences that are misexpressed or expressed uh, incorrectly in different diseases, and we're designing medicines to target those diseases. Yeah, so can you tell me a little bit more about what spherical nucleic acid is and why it's important? Sure, Exacure's uh, unique proprietary technology is called spherical nucleic acid. And unlike DNA or RNA that you might know and love, Spherical nucleic acid really takes it to the next level in terms of the architecture of these molecules. So rather than the 2D DNA floating around in solution, we have a three-dimensional arrangement of the nucleic acid. Uh, the DNA is pointing outside on the surface of a nanoparticle, and that three-dimensional arrangement of that nucleic acid is called spherical nucleic acid. Great. And um, so what clinical trials right now is Exacure um, has been running? You know, can you explain a little sure. bit more about that? Yeah, so the great unique feature of the spherical nucleic acid structure is that it penetrates into cells and tissues very effectively. And therefore, we think we've solved one of the critical challenges in the DNA and RNA therapeutic space, uh, namely the delivery challenge. When we create the three-dimensional spherical nucleic acids, we're able to get into cells and tissues and indeed organs that others haven't been able to historically get into with nucleic acid therapeutics. So putting those two ideas together, what we've been able to do is go after places in the clinical arena that others have um, heretofore not been able to take a digital drug design um, in, and uh, nucleic acid-based medicine. So our first clinical trials that have gone into development have been in dermatology, where we take the spherical nucleic acid and use that uptake property directly on the skin with a gel-based formulation. And by putting the gel directly on the skin, we're able to use that spherical nucleic acid to target inflammatory pathways like TNF-alpha and our recently reported clinical result on IL-17 receptor. Targeting pro-inflammatory pathways, but now we're doing it at the genetic level. We've also got another program that started clinical trials last year in oncology. This is where we're using a TLR9 activator. In this case, the DNA sequence is designed to turn on the immune system. Uh, in our first initial MAN studies that were run over in the UK, we showed that these molecules were safe and tolerable, but more importantly, I think, for the oncology community, showed activation of the immune system. When we show that activation of the immune system, that sets us up nicely to go after different cancer populations. Uh, right now, we're running clinical trials in the U.S. Um, at four cl clinical sites uh, throughout the U.S., Dana-Farber, University of Miami, John Wayne Cancer Center, and University of Iowa. And patients that are eligible to enroll in those trials are those that have Merkel cell carcinoma, squamous cell carcinoma, melanoma, etc. So um, we're very excited about that clinical trial that's going on right now in the U.S. Uh, coupled with the success of places our nucleic acid uh, technology has been able to go um, outside of the liver space, places like the skin, some real technological firsts for design of nucleic acid-based therapeutics. Yeah, that all sounds really interesting, but uh, can you tell me why should people really be excited about Exacure and what they're doing? Yeah, I think one of the cool things about um, how I've grown up in the scientific landscape over the last 20 years is that we now have this code book that's called the Human Genome Sequence. So all of the code for the A's, G's, T's, and C's that underline the differences between you and me. But the challenge has really been to take that genetic code and to turn it into medicines that can impact human health. We think that the spherical nucleic acid technology and what we're doing at Exacure really allows us to solve that challenge. So take that code book, now not only have the code, but have the tools and technology like spherical nucleic acid that allows us to develop it into true medicines that can change the course of disease for folks. And so what can people really look forward to in the next year from your company? Yeah, well, we now have three drugs that have made it into clinical trials. So we're kind of past that initial proof of concept as a technology work stage, and we're on to developing the platform across lots of different targets and indications. So in particular, over the next year, we have several clinical trials that will be going on in dermatology. Uh, we recently announced the partnership. We're working with a company on Netherton's disease, a rare orphan genetic disease of the skin. We're ongoing trials now for our oncology program, as I mentioned before. And by the end of this year, we're actually nominating a program as well in neurology. 
where we're planning on doing a spinal injection. And the idea is that the spherical nucleic acids can actually access regions of the brain. We're going to be going after diseases, for example, Huntington's spinal muscular atrophy, Batten's disease, ataxias, and others, where now we can access those diseases and go after, again, the underlying genetic causes of those diseases using our technology. Yeah, that's great. Well, I look forward to seeing what's come next for you. And thank you so much for talking great. with us. Yeah, it was a pleasure to be here. Thanks for having me.